I would have to have a camera on when I fell. All right. <laughs> and I'm stuck. <laughs> oh. All right. for my hike I hear some noise in the bush and there's a massive bull looking at me just from the tree <laughs> see if I can get a shot of him good morning ah, on the trail again thanks for joining me in another adventure so today I am in the Ballyhowras in County Limerick um, I know a lot about the Ballyhowras I know a lot about the history of the Ballyhowras and I'm absolutely ashamed to admit I have never been on the Ballyhowras so for me everything I see today is brand new and it's, uh, it's certainly going to be an adventure so I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to it and if you haven't been here I hope you are too so um, the route I made today is we're going up uh, Seafen over to Castle Phillip uh, we're making our way down to Little Cairn then looping around to Long Mountain, then back up and then back down the trail to the car park. So, <laughs> so happy to be here. It's just been out on the trail in general. So let's see what adventures we can get up to. The route that we are taking today is steeped in history and I'll explain why. So I always knew about the Bear Away, the Bear Peninsula. Never done the Bear Away, but it's something I want to do. But I only knew of the name, the Bear Away, until I started looking up into the history. So the route that we're on today, um, it's part of the route that the O'Sullivan Bear and, and his followers made a 300 mile journey from Cork to Roscommon. They were fleeing the English invaders who came in, so the family left along with 600 soldiers, 600 men, women and servants and 400 soldiers and they made their epic march in 1601 in the heart of winter, I mean January in the heart of winter and we have all the hiking gear now you can picture what they, were, what they had so as they made their way this route was part of their journey so it's amazing to follow their footsteps. Um, they made their way all the way. They were trying to get to O'Rourke Castle in Roscommon. But from the cold, from sheer tiredness, and from being attacked, and a lot of the servants ran away. When they got to Roscommon, there was only 35 of them left. Um, their plan was to meet up with the O'Rourkes in O'Rourke Castle. And that didn't happen, so they moved on and they met up with Hugh O'Neill. Hugh O'Neill was the second Earl of Tyrone and met up with Rory O'Donnell, who was the first Earl of Tyre Connell. So, with the 35 party that was left and with whoever was with the Earls, they made up a group of about 90 people. So, from there, they all made their way to mainland Europe and it's officially known as the Flight of the Earls. I love history. Look at that. 
<sighs> I have no room for you. Beautiful. Bye bye, rock. So, coming to the top of the hill, we're going straight on, and I can see Castle Philip over, which I can't wait to get to. So, but first, this 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 is uh, Seafin Summit. So, I want to go to the top of this. Top of Seafin. So Seafin is the seat of Fionn, which is Fionn McCool. And the the legends that were in Ireland, the mystical legends about Fionn McCool is that he was a big joint. And a big joint so much that they say that this is where he sat when he used to bathe his feet in the River Shannon. The River Shannon is 50 kilometers away, so it just shows how big he is. But he kind of got the title of being a giant from the, the legend of the Giant's Causeway um, and that story. But uh, Fionn McCool was known, it's Fionn and the Fina. The Fina were um, an elite clan of warriors um, that were, their main purpose was the, to protect the High Kings of Ireland. Um, so it was Fionn and the Fina, he was with them. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and I love this place. <laughs> I can't stop smiling. <sighs> I tell you, it's well worth looking into your research before you go somewhere because when you are there, uh, you start thinking about all the, 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 the legends that are around. But um, it's so cool here. Really, really is. Can't stop smiling. So we were making our way to Castle Philip. Woohoo! <laughs> Stop to put on the gaiters. It's getting uh, it's getting quite mucky, as you can see. So, always come prepared. See the size of these boulders. You can even hear an echo inside in here. But these resembled a castle on the top of the mountain, and um, hence Castle Philip. So this is, they say, this is where a lot of outlaws came to hide out. And looking at this, probably get out of the elements as well because you're well sheltered here. Let's take a trip through and see. So cool here. So you can see how big this is, and from a distance it looks total out of place. So it looks like a built structure. Yep, yep. Okay, let's go. Full rock structure there. Another one behind me. The castle's on the hill. Oh, you're right, <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh, she nearly disappeared in a hole. Oh, would you hurt your face? Come here. Oh. I have to admit, I'm very impressed with the Ballyhowra so far. Don't know why it took me so long to get here. It's been years, I've been hiking for years and years and never got here, I don't know why. 
because it's beautiful. My phone just pinged of a met air and weather warning uh, coming in the oil. At the moment it actually looks pretty okay but a lot of dark clouds coming in. Excellent. <laughs> We'll keep going. On top of Little Cairn. It's little. Not much else to see here. <laughs> uh, make our way back down. For some reason, my go-to drink on every mountain seems to be lemon and ginger tea. It's the only time I drink it. But there's something about having lemon and ginger tea on the top of the mountain that I absolutely love. That and peanut butter and jam, which my kids eat, but I seem to love it on the mountain, I don't know. Works, works for me. <sighs> Fed and watered, let's hit the road. Weird. Can someone answer? Is there gray foxes or silver foxes in Ireland? Besides a man getting gray when he's older. <laughs> But um, yeah, I just caught, I caught the end glimpse of uh, something running across the road there and it was pure gray and hmm, it looked bigger than a fox though. It's not a wolf. Weird. I know, I didn't know there was gray foxes in Ireland. Interesting. Okay, so. <laughs> This is impassable, really. Um, what's it like? Whoa! Let's try and go this way. Oh, I'm not going that way. Okay, let's go back. Oh, this is deep bog. Maybe here. <laughs> we made it. I hope I hope there isn't too many of those. This is like walking in thick snow. Oh, it's so deep. We're nearly there. We're just trying to get up to the top of Castle Philip. <laughs> it's tough going for the dog. It's Castle Philip there that we need to get though. We're back on the trail to uh, at Seafin, back down to the car park. nearly back at the car. Oh my god, my dog will sleep tonight. As will I. That was fantastic. It's um you're absolutely spoiled for choice on the Ballyhower as you really really are. There is roots everywhere and there's so much to discover. So I'll certainly be back here sooner than later. Um, so if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet please do and help out our channel. What we're trying to do is shine a light on mental health awareness through hiking and through the mountains. Like mountains have changed my life and I, I'm a firm believer that mountains can change yours. Um, we're trying to use the channel with these videos to try and um, inspire you to get out onto the hills and get out onto the mountains and get out and get some fresh air. Because the hardest part of your day is getting up and getting out. Um, so thanks very much for watching and um, until next time, 
Stay safe and stay safe on the mountain.